Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Today we are going to go through my new seeds, including the seeds that I ordered from Burpee. Uh, if you watched my Burpee unboxing video, I thought it was the order that I had placed, but it it wasn't. But my order is here and I wanna share it with you guys. And then I also wanna share with you um, the new seeds that I bought for this year. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my burpee order here and I just want to share with you guys some of or actually all of the seeds that I got from that order but I specifically chose some of these seeds for their compact nature. Um, I want to be able to grow the same vegetables but in a smaller space. Um, I had a lot of trouble the last few years in this particular garden that I have now trying to grow these big zucchini plants and these, you know, indeterminate tomatoes and squash, but like it, the vines get so out of control that it is difficult for me to manage sometimes. Um, and then I also wanted to buy a lot of, of the, um, dwarf variety of vegetables so that I can share some small space gardening um, plants with you guys. I know not everyone has a huge space to garden, um, a huge space for vines to take over and everything. So I wanted to get a lot of these um, smaller varieties so that you guys can see how they could fit in your garden. Anyway, so in no particular order. Um, I'll go through my burpee seeds that I just got and then I'm going to show you guys some of the other seeds that I have now. Unfortunately, the burpee seeds do not have any pictures, so it'll just be by name, but I'll tag, um, I'll put a link to each one of these if you guys wanna go and check them out. Um, so the first one I've got, Swiss Shard, Red Magic Hybrid, I love to use Swiss chard. Um, the rabbits love Swiss chard in my garden. Uh, I have basil, pesto party, pesto party, chamomile, German. I'm looking so forward to growing chamomile. I cannot wait to have it in my garden. And I think this one is actually a perennial. Mm, I'll have to double check that. A kaleidoscope carrot blend looking forward to that Ooh, this morning glory cotton candy this is gonna be pretty you guys tomato sweet tangerine hybrid I don't know if I I think I did order this one it I don't know gumfrina fireworks I can't wait to start that one okay so here's one of the um, bush variety squashes that I have and that's a term that you want to look for when you are shopping for the smaller varieties you want to look for bush um, dwarf container those are words to let you know that this plant is perfect for a container perfect for a small space here it is winter squash bush table queen so you're supposed to get uh, like just as much harvest as you would on a bigger plant, but just on like a regular plant, but just in, on a small plant. <sighs> I hope that makes sense. Anyway, okay, so here is another. This one is a short vine compact plant. Winter squash, Trivoli hybrid. I cannot wait to grow these, you guys. Okay, so here we've got some zinnia queen red lime i love zinnias i'm gonna have a ton of them this year coleus chocolate mint and then here's another bush winter squash pilgrim hybrid if you need to pause to um get the names of these feel free to do so okay now this one is super interesting to me this is a basil called emerald towers this is supposed to have, uh, supposed to grow in a vertical tower, which I am looking forward to because that is also a space saving 
uh, growth pattern. So this could be in a pot or you can have it in your garden bed, a raised bed, whatever you need. Lettuce, that lettuce is usually a container variety. Summer squash, this one is a hybrid as well for small space. You've got beets, you can do beets in ground, in raised beds, and in pots. Here is another coleus I'm looking forward to starting called Pineapple Surprise. Here is another um, bush variety, Summer Squash Golden Egg Hybrid. Yes, so I'm looking so forward to sharing these small space vegetables with you guys. And last but not least from Burpee, Moonflower Giant White. So excited about these, you guys. Okay, now let me show you the other seeds that I got. These ones I have been buying in store. And yeah, so look, I'm going to try this. Pumpkin on a stick. This from the Dollar Tree. Peppers marigolds these are good plants to help deter pests in the garden the i don't even know where i'm gonna grow this guy at but i'm gonna try big max this i'm looking forward to the mammoth dill supposed to get can get up to three feet tall lemon mint i love my lemony herbs more zinnias. I love the cactus zinnias from the Dollar Tree. African daisies. We're going to give those a try. I tried to grow daisies before I did not have luck. We've got cosmos. Zinnia scabiosa mix. Yes. Okay, here's a bush variety right here. This is the patty pan squash. And that's supposed to be a compact plant broccoli and these pretty zinnias I cannot wait to see those my favorite herb cilantro my absolute favorite thing I love cilantro now these I actually started in milk jugs but here's some lupine they're new this year to me bush beans that's another compact variety plant that you can grow in a small space. I love bush beans, grow them every year. Pumpkin Jack B. Little, cannot wait. Oh yes, pumpkin, this is a Cherokee bush. I cannot wait to see how big this plant actually gets, but it's a bush variety, so it shouldn't be too bad. Hot pepper, big Thai hybrid. And I think I showed you guys, some of these may be duplicates from my first burpee video, but the tomato super sauce hybrid. We've got some radicchio and a calendula, calendula. Zinnia again, I love my zinnias. And then the helichrysum chrysanthemum. Yes, so those are the seeds that I got so far this year. Actually, I have one more seed that I want to show you. Give me a sec. So I've got three more that I want to show you. So I got this from In My Gardener, Champagne Bubbles. Tomato. I can't wait to try that. It's supposed to be super, super sweet. Then I got these seeds for a sundew. Now this is a for a carnivorous plant. Um, this will be kept as a house plant to eat gnats. And this, which I already started, variegated cat grass. So yes, that is it for my seeds for this year. I will likely buy more, I'm sure. Um, I still gotta go out and get some more begonias and what else do I wanna get? Caladiums, so many other little bulbs and little things that I still need to collect. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.